Ice Shroom. Freezes all zombies on the screen. Incredibly helpful at times. And... Dancing Zombie. Fun fact, the Dancing Zombie used to be... Not... It, it wasn't a 70s, 60s Afro guy. The Dancing Zombie was once actually Michael Jackson. Fun fact. So, the same strategy as always, blop them down. I apologize for a uh, lack of commentary, but there's not much to do. Now, you have two options. You could freeze the dancing zombie to use him to... Uh, uh, freeze him to be able to have him just not do any of his powers and just destroy him, or you could hypno shoot him, which is what I'm go planning on doing. Since they both caught they both cost the same and take up the same space, there's no advantage to using the ice room except, you know, the freezing everyone else on the screen, which is good I guess, but then again, the power for the power of love. Uh power of love, copyright. Uh oh come on. Freaking mouse. The power of the hypno shroom on the... Oh, I'm just repositioning myself. The dancing zombie can actually summon allies on the adjacent... on pretty much four allies. One above, one below, one in front, and one behind. Which is a pain. But, if you can control him, is an amazing ally. Because he can literally help clear three rows, and say, uh, it's hard. It's hard to talk about without you know actually describe it, actually showing it. But say, you know, let's say the giant zombie here. There's one there, 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 there. The adjacent squares around him. If the one on top dies, he'll like dance and sprout a new one. I don't think he has to uh, lose all his other guys first. But right now, I'm just trying to set up a main offense here, and then I'll start taking out more graves. You can never really gauge how long the level will be by how fast the bar is running. Like, if you don't hate it, have... Ah, there he is. And then you got some nasty dead guys. But I will place that there. And now, he is my ally. And he should... Come on, do it. You know you wanna. Yeah! He will summon four dudes. All yours. It's pretty good. Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting Sunfire. I'm just watching this magnificent thing over there. Do its thing. And now that I have at least a row of this, I should be good, and there's not much left level, so I'm going to actually focus offense on here, since there's three gra graves there. And my next grave hunter, which I may not be able to get. I may have to actually save up for another hit mushroom. I'm just worried about that road down there. In all honesty. Yeah. Not going to be able to do much. Okay, he's not down there, thankfully. So I'll place that there. And that'll be an immense ally-ish thing. Not really. So I'll place that there. And now, as you can see, they're all frozen. Which, for a couple seconds, they actually have... They don't do anything. But once they're out, they're slowed. Hence the blue tint. For at least a little while. They lose the slowness after a few minutes if they're not killed. However, they are very much killed. And they drop the Doom Shroom. It's called the Doom Shroom. Yes, Doom Shroom. Destroys a large area. It is like the Cherry Bomb, only twice as big. I will only... I will get it only to show it. 
That is too many graves, man. I never... <laughs> to, quote, to quote Adam Jansen, I never asked for this. So, same strategy as always, Pinky. Try to take over the graveyard. It's practically a graveyard at this point. Someone walked up to this, didn't see the house, and was like, what's that? I'd probably say, I think it's a graveyard. Even though it's clearly not. Give me that sweet, sweet sunflower. Power. Now, two flags, that means this level should be fairly long and pretty difficult. That's what I said, bum. Mm. So, we're going to want to get offense as soon as possible, and then destroy these as soon as possible. Like I said, two rows of these guys. Pretty angry looking at first, but then when they get close, when the enemy gets close, they're like, oh no. I want to get rid of this grave real fast. Before I plop down one of those other guys there. Ah, screw it. Since these only cost like a tiny bit, the skater shrooms only cost a little bit. You can place them down pretty frequently with the mini shrooms here giving you only 15 sun. So it's it's pretty good. Place that there just because I can spare it. It's not going to kill them, not at all, but at least I'll be able to do enough damage to them to hold them off for a little bit. And then those two, come along with that, should be enough to kill it before it eats one of them, hopefully. Just place that there. And now we have a first row, and I would really like to get some of these graves out of the way. Starting with this row, the back row, and then that row again, I guess. I'm going to be bouncing back and forth. That should help take that out even faster. There we go. Not only is uh, getting graves out of the way beneficial to your platforming... What? No. Not only beneficial to your placing, but it also gives you a bit of gold, a bit of coin, a bit of money, a bit of chances. Oh. Uh, yes. Eat. Eat it. And also, uh, I don't think the first waves do it. I think the la it's only on the last wave, but they uh, will spawn zombies as well. So you get them out, you literally make later levels easier. It's kind of really worth it to take out as many graves as you can early. Up. It's really, the night levels are, in a way, easier than a lot of the other levels. Just because of how many of these tiny puff shrooms you can get. And just the, just the pure offensive, offensive and defensive power of them. They, they're, they're probably the best, one of the best units in the game, just because... Of, their price, how fast they regen, and how many you can just slam on the field. Now, I'm not going to use the Doom Shroom, not yet. And if things go well enough, I shouldn't have to really use anything. But I will use a Grave Buster. And I'll keep using them until I get the Graves gone. Now, another thing is Graves, I believe... I'm not sure if it happens in a wave, or if it just randomly... I think randomly. But they can and will pop up on empty spots. Which makes these puff shrooms even more useful, because... You won't... If most of the field... Of it, they don't spawn like... Uh, oh, nice! Diamond! They don't spawn in the... Close half, the end half of the level. Of the area. Just because that'd be really unfair. Like, say, Final Wave 1 popped up here and just nom through everything. That would just... That would be bad design. Only one more grave, and now I can start placing these guys. Be offensive. Almost in time. Thanksgiving, no. Oh man. I remember Thanksgiving like it was yesterday. Oh, well, it felt like it was just yesterday, and now... I feel like it's going to be like tomorrow, because it's just going to crawl up on us that soon. It's February, by the way, that I'm recording this. If anyone who's watching this in 
events in the future. Hey, future guys. I'm from the past. Bad time travel, yeah, I know, but hey. It's time travel. It's your kids, Marty. Something's gotta be done about your kids. It's your puff shrooms, Marty. Something's gotta be done about your references. What? Now, since I can have... Since I'm probably gonna have just like a bajillion puff shrooms, I'm gonna... And it's not gonna be that difficult. I'm gonna leave at least the first row empty. Although... Like say that these guys will be able to chew through to like the third row before they die. I'll just place down another puff shroom and poop on them, in a sense. And now we get to see the dude, which I will show in just a minute once uh, these guys show up. Place it. It explodes. Kills pretty much everything in like that half of the screen, but it leaves a crater that will, over time, repair itself, like Mother Nature.